let's have a look at how we can write instructions for our bivariate at level one. So the example that we're looking at here is the questions about um, whether or not there's a relationship between a person's foot length and their hand span. Um, so I've just got a couple of little images here. So when we're looking at a person, person's foot length, we want to look from, we want to find the distance from the back of their heel to the front of their toe. So we've got to think how it is that we can actually, <coughs> excuse me, go about finding that distance. So one idea is that I could get a piece of paper and I could get somebody to stand on it and I could trace their foot outline on that piece of paper and then measure that foot outline. Another way is that I could um, get a um, person to stand up against a wall. So if there was a um, wall along this edge here, and then all I would need to do is record where that front um, toe goes to. But one thing I will need to make sure of, because I'm trying to find their foot length, I can't do that with shoes on. So I'm going to need to get them to take their shoes off. And hand span is when you span your hand right out and we want to go right from the furthest out that you can move your hand. So if you're like playing on the piano, the furthest apart you can have your fingers. So let's have a look at what I've come up with some instructions. So the first step is ask them to remove their right shoe. Now notice how I've been quite specific here. I'm just going to get everyone to do the same foot. And this is really good to be able to be quite consistent with our measurements. Okay. Then I'm going to get them to put their foot against a wall, make sure that their heel is touching the wall. Um, I'm going to put a book at the end of their toes and then I'm going to use any of the tape measure. So I'm telling what equipment I use. I'm going to measure the distance and what units I use this for um, from going from the wall to the bottom of the book. And then I'm going to record that and I'm going to do this for 30 students. I'm then going to find their hand span and again I've been quite specific in that I want their right hand. I'm saying put that flat onto a piece of paper, palm facing down. So notice how all these instructions are very, very detailed. That's what I want to see because that means we are controlling the variation. So then when I'm going to get them to spread their fingers as wide as they can. Using a pen I'm going to mark from their smallest finger um, that edge to the edge of their thumb. And then they can move the hand and now I'm going to use my tape measure, measure the distance in millimetres and record that on a data table. So that's what I would want to do for my instructions.